Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Like for addition, we have the same properties for subtraction and we will run through them very fast. Let us start with the first property, closure property under subtraction. If we subtract any two integers, say we take 7 minus 9, we get minus 2. Let us check minus 8 minus of minus 14. Then the answer is 6 which is also an integer. What about minus 18 minus of minus 18? This is equal to minus 18 plus 18 which is equal to 0 which is also an integer. So we can say integers are closed under subtraction. In general if a and b are two integers, then a minus b is also an integer. So integers are closed under subtraction. Next is the commutative property. Let us check the commutative property for subtraction of integers. Consider 5 minus 3. We know 5 minus 3 is 2. What about 3 minus 5? We know the answer is minus 2. Since we have found out an example for which 5 minus 3 is not equal to 3 minus 5, so we can say that integers are not commutative under subtraction or subtraction is not commutative for integers. And so we need not conclude any general statement for the commutative property of subtraction. Let us now check for the associative property for subtraction of integers. Say we have minus 5, 3 and minus 7. Let us group them as minus 5, minus 3 minus of minus 7 and minus 5 minus 3 minus minus 7. Notice that this time we are checking the property for subtraction. So we are using minus sign while grouping. Now let us solve this further and check whether the answers are equal. On solving, we get the first grouping equal to minus 1 and the second grouping equal to minus 15, implying that subtraction is not associative for integers. Our next property is to find a subtractive identity. We know that for any integer say minus 6 we can get an integer so that it doesn't change. So we can say that 0 is the subtractive identity. Hence we state that when we subtract 0 from any integer, we get the same integer. So 0 is the subtractive identity for integers. In general, for any integer a, a minus 0 is a. Let us read the question. Write down a pair of integers whose sum is minus 3. This means 
we have to find two integers whose sum must give us minus 3. Clearly, if we have minus 1 plus minus 2, this will give us minus 3. Also, minus 5 plus 2 can give us minus 3. We can write many more such pairs. Check for yourself. Minus 4 plus 1 can also give us minus 3. Minus 7 plus 4 can also give us minus 3. The trick lies in the rule that one positive and one negative integers when added, we take their difference and place the sign of the bigger number. And since we want minus 3, so always the bigger number will have the negative sign. Second part of the same question is to write down a pair of integers whose difference is minus 5. That means we want two integers such that their difference is minus 5. We know the rule that when two negative integers are added, we get a negative integer. So we can apply that rule also. If we take minus 2, minus 3, it will give us minus 5. Let us check out another example. If we take minus 9, then what should be? In the second line, if we take plus 4, what will happen? We have minus 9 minus of plus 4 will give us minus 9 minus 4, that is minus 13. But if we take minus 9 minus of minus 4, this will be minus 9 plus 4 which is equal to minus 5. So, minus 4 is the appropriate integer for the blank. Similarly, we can find out many more combinations for the second part of the same question. Third part of the same question is to write down a pair of integers whose difference is 2 that means we want to find two integers whose difference is 2. If we take 5 minus 3, it will give us 2. Let us check for some more examples. Say we take minus 7. Then minus 7 minus any number will give us a bigger number. But if we take minus 7 minus of some negative number, we get minus 7 plus 1 that is equal to minus 6. The numbers are reducing but they have a negative sign. What will happen? If we have second number which is negative but bigger than 7, say we take minus 8, we get minus 7 plus 8 which is equal to plus 1. So the trick lies here and minus 9 will give the required answer. Last part of the same question is to write down a pair of integers whose sum is 0. This one is very easy. 
since we have done the additive inverse, we know that 1 plus minus 1 will give us 0. For that matter, any number and its additive inverse will give us the required answer.